Europa, Graham Watson. President in office, Liberals and Democrats, we view every success for the German presidency of the European Union. You have presented to us a bold programme entitled Europe Succeeding Together, firmly in the tradition, the cooperative tradition of our most powerful member state. Liberals and Democrats welcome the commitment in the opening paragraph where you say European integration is the foundation of our common future and its dynamic development must continue. I commend to you, Chancellor, the poet Goethe when he wrote, Bleibe nicht am Boden heften, frisch gewagt und frisch hinaus. Progress, Chancellor, will be built on the pillars of a strong economy. And I am disappointed that the word social appears in this programme almost twice as many times as the word competitive. The word liberal appears only once. I fear this document owes more to the SPD side of your coalition than to others. But even the SPD in Germany is lagging behind the new socialist consensus at their conference in Oporto. It's no good trying to protect energy giants like RWE or EDF in the hope that they can stand up against Gazprom. We need free markets and energy security, and there is no contradiction between the two. We welcome your plans for technology and talent, but you'll not do it if you cut the budgets that the European Union has for research and innovation and education. On justice and home affairs, Chancellor, we will work closely with you. You talk of intensive police and judicial cooperation between member states, but we are deeply concerned and we will work to change your plans which focus too much on the repressive aspects of policy and not enough on freedom. You had nice words in your speech about tolerance, but here in your document we find data collection, but nothing about data protection, not a single mention in the section on civil rights. We find border guards, but development aid policy to relieve the misery that pushes people towards our shores, just a few, few platitudes on the final page. We may be in danger, Chancellor, of creating in Europe what Dieter Lachmann once described in your own country as eine lieblose republik. If I may take one sentence out of your document, it is this. You write, if a common European area of justice cannot be achieved in the field of civil and criminal law, the European single market will remain incomplete. I welcome the fact that you see justice and home affairs as part of the European single market. But then why do you stubbornly resist demands from citizens to make policy in the same way as you make policy for the single market, qualified majority voting in council and co-decision? You speak of the role of national parliaments, but nothing of the role of the European Parliament. You seek to adopt the Prum Treaty on data sharing outside community competence. It's no surprise that a former president of your country, Roman Herzog, said that Germany is no longer a parliamentary democracy because of so many of its laws come from Brussels. But we need at least to make Europe a proper parliamentary democracy. In common foreign and security policy, too, Another area where we should have the first pillar. The EU is incapable. We watch the disintegration of Iraq, 34,000 civilian deaths, people saying that today is better than tomorrow. That is the most urgent geopolitical issue of our time. And we need, as you say in your program, a more effective and a more coherent foreign policy. We welcome, President, what you say about the environment. The Green Party in your country may have biodegraded, but it clearly had some impact. And in particular, your plans for uh, an environmental technology impact for the Leipzig Charter on Sustainable European Cities, we support. And we hope you will work towards a European Union budget in 2008, which gives us the means to do it. Chancellor, on the Constitution and in conclusion, I wish you success. Many in my group are not optimistic that the conditions exist in London or in Paris or in Warsaw for a move forward. Work on bringing the EU closer to its citizens, on better regulation, on greater transparency. Build the basis for the support. But remember what Theodor Fontana said. Guter Verdauung ist besser als eine Million. 
aber dicker Haut ist noch besser als gute Verdauung. I wish you, Herr Chancellor, every success in your presidency, and we will judge you at the end of your term on your achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Graham Watson.